What's up guys, it's Exclusive here, and today I'm going to be playing through this indie game called Caddy and Batty, the Spirit Guide. Um, this is an, uh, like an indie puzzle game where you have to play as Caddy and Batty. They're like these two friends that um, have to basically guide these spirits to, like their, I guess, to the afterlife. Um, and before they can like kind of rest and relax, that's kind of their motivation behind all this. Um, and this is yet another easy achievement game. I believe this game will take you about an hour to complete. Uh, you do have to basically, the only thing that you have to do for the achievements is just complete the whole game. There's a total of 30 levels. Um, they're fairly easy, so it's not, nothing too crazy here. But yeah, you know, there's there are definitely some variations in the levels. You have to basically put down boxes to kind of lead the spirits towards like these this gate to the afterlife in every level. Some levels have a little bit of a different um, objective, but for the most part it's just, you know, you have to like basically lead them to the gates, um, as you'll see. So, yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's check this out. Let's press the button. Now, by the way, there is a, this game is available, um, for the Xbox One and the Series X has both of the versions. So you can basically stack this um, to get a total get a total of 2,000 gamer score. Obviously, you do have to buy the game twice, but uh, yeah. So if you want to do that for the achievement hunters out there, definitely check that out and uh, yeah, buy both versions and just play through them. I just literally just played through the Xbox One version, and now I'm playing through the Series X version. So for this video, so let's do it. So Adventure Time is the first level. Levels are pretty simple. Every level is uh, prefaced with like these little dialogue things between Caddy and, and uh, Batty. So, Caddy, let's go. It's adventure time. Caddy? Oh my, we need to get these spirits home. Guide these spirits home. We can use the cardboard boxes in your backyard. Meow. <laughs> All right. So hint, spirits will stand still until you press X. So yeah, so spirits have a starting point, and without the boxes in the way, basically, they will go pretty much in any four of the directions. Um, but if you put a box around them, they'll only go in that one direction where the box isn't. So in this case, they're going to go kind of here to the right. And so literally all you have to do is just put boxes in their way so that they go down, they follow the path. So first level, very simple. You just put the boxes like that and guide them through the gate. The levels do get a little bit harder, obviously, as you progress, um, but nothing too crazy. I think the longest level that I played through was like maybe six or seven minutes, so nothing crazy. Alright, done. Let's go on an adventure now. Meow. The spirits still need our guidance. Meow. They have a long way to go. <laughs> All right, let's do this. As you can see, Batty's the only one that really talks. <laughs> so, huh? This is mushroom here. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put boxes all around them, so that way they only follow this one path. Now, most levels you have an unlimited amount of boxes. So you can just literally just build as much as you want. So for instance, like if I do this, I can literally just guide them through. I don't know what this is, I think this speeds them up a little bit. There's only one level that I know of where you're, you're limited how many boxes you have. And it's actually coming up early on, so... The Land of the Spirits is still far away. Let's continue using our cardboard ba Caddy? The portals are a little annoying, um, but if you just build around them, they won't necessarily hinder you in any way, so should be fine. Um, let me... You don't have to do this, by the way. Like, I just build this. Just to give them a direct path to go. Make it easier. And that's pretty much it. Easy level. 
the game does rank you, like, in terms of how many boxes you place and the time you take, but it doesn't really matter in the long run. There's no leaderboards or, you know, none of those requirements are related to achievements, so it's really just for your own personal, I guess, if you, you know, personal leaderboard, personal record, whatever you want to call it. We did it! Let's move on! Meow! Oh no, we only have five boxes left? <laughs> Yeah, so this is the only level where you're limited in how many boxes you have, so... What I like to do here, is I'm gonna put one here, here... Wait, not there... Here... And then... Just put one... Literally, right here, and here... And that's it. And press X, and let them go. <laughs> What's up, Zazer J? This looks pretty cool, meow! <laughs> yep. It's a little interesting indie game. Alright, after this, you can build as many boxes as you want. Heartvine. Yay, we found more boxes! Meow! Exactly, now we can. Oh no! A totally blocking Heartvine! Meow! Seems like spirits can go through them though. Alright, let's work together then. Hint, you can press the right bumper to switch characters. Yeah, so you can actually switch between Caddy and Batty. Um, so let's see, so... I'm just gonna put a wall around that. Do this, and then... Let's see, I'm gonna like... I guess build... This way... here and build like this. <laughs> well played. Thanks. The cool cat with the shades. Nine boxes, that's funny. Alright. Level six. Eye flower. Phew! That vine sure was troublesome. Meow. At least there are no eye flowers. They make spirits fall asleep. Meow. But there is one right there. Hint, try walking waking the spirits when they fall asleep. Okay, so gonna do this. There we go. Wake up. Hmm, meow. I tell you, it definitely is easier once you know what you're doing. Because the first time, these levels took me a lot longer. I feel sleepy too now. Meow. Oh, there's a locked gate now? I hope spirits can open them. Meow, meow. Okay, so for this one, what you want to do is you have to open the gate by having one spirit go into each of these switches. So. I'm gonna put one person there. And then... Have them go to the top. And have them go over here. And the rest of these guys... Oh, this one's a little lost. Damn it. Oh no, they're all going the wrong way. Oh, well. 
There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, next one, what we got? Next one is Box Fox. This one's kind of annoying. We did it again! Meow! Shh, catty, there is a cute box fox. It's asleep, but it probably really likes our boxes. Purr. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna build boxes around this dude. Just to get something to munch on. Instead of the ones that I'm gonna place at the top. Okay, and then now, let's do the most direct route, I think, would be this way. Catnarchy! <laughs> it's a good thing they literally make you, like, allow you to build an infinite number of these things. <laughs> Makes things so easy. Alright, there we go. Heart beans. Ooh! Oh! I know what this is. Meow. You'll see, Caddy. Okay. So, this one... is a little bit... Complicated, but not really. Um, I'm gonna just lead them basically. Wait, let me. Uh... Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. No! Oh no. Damn it. Oh crap. No, wrong one. Okay, now the gate's open. Okay. This works, I guess. Oh no. There we go. All right. Yeah, each level averages about to like one to two to three minutes sometimes. So it's not too bad. We did it, uh, Caddy. Okay. Oh, I got some plants here to some seeds to grow. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I don't want them going over there. So I'm going to block that off. And then block this off. Oh crap, they're going to... Hmm. May have to do it like this. Alright, let's try this out. Alright, there we go. Ah, uh, you. There we go. 
<laughs> that got crazy. Hmm. Yeah, some of these levels are can get a little bit intense, but for the most part, they're, they're fairly easy. I think the the hardest ones are you'll see when we get to them. Greetings, my name is Hedger. Hi, Hedger. What's up? Can you place piles of leaves to open the gate? Meow. This was actually kind of annoying. Okay, Caddy will place the leaf piles. Thank you. Goodbye. So basically, this one, you have to use Caddy to place the leaf piles everywhere. And the only way... So, I mean, actually, I may be able to do it this way. Okay, this one actually may not be that difficult. There you go. Okay. This one took me like five minutes last time. Maybe more. Just, you know, like I said, knowing the layout and knowing what's going to happen makes it a little bit easier. This one's pretty easy. Edgar, you're following us? I took a detour for the star snow. Star snow? Me meow? The spirits are stargazing. Let's pick them up. So you this basically just gotta grab them and kind of lead them over to the other side without obviously dropping them in the portals. And you gotta use both characters because each of them has like three that they're linked to. So. Very easy. Less than 30 seconds. All right, button glutton. Thank the local deities. We found this anti-star snow growth. The star snow stopped. Let's go. Meow. All right, so there's a bunch of buttons here that we gotta press. So let's build this wall. Oh no, it's not good. Um, let's get this guy in here. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. No. Okay. There we go. And now, they just gotta go to the gate, and we're good. Alright. Done with that one. 